Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, then this reading is for you. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. You can find links to my social media, Patreon, and PayPal in the description box below. Also, if you'd like a personalized reading from me, you can email me at midnightmoontarot at gmail.com. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this reading. All right. What are the love messages for Scorpio for the 10th through the 20th of August 2019? What are the love messages for Scorpio for the 10th through the 20th of August 2019? love messages for Scorpio for the 10th through the 20th of August 2019. What are the love messages for Scorpio for the 10th through the 20th of August 2019? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and divide these. Okay. All right. The card on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. This will be the overall energy for the reading. So as we go through the spread, I will show you how this card's going to relate to uh, the different cards. Okay, so just here we go. I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. Hmm, very interesting. All right, so the first card we have is the world and the page of pentacles. Okay, so when we have the world and the page of pentacles, this means that you might be receiving some type of uh, job offer, um, travel, um, new experiences. Uh, you basically, you'll have the world at your feet and you should be receiving this pretty soon. As far as the Seven of Pentacles goes, it shows that you have been working very hard and, you know, tending your little garden and waiting for, for everything to bloom and to blossom, okay? So you may be getting uh, perhaps a job promotion or something, and this could lead to a lot of open doors for you that can bring new experiences to your world, okay? <clears throat> And the next are swords. We have the seven of swords and the six of swords. And this is pretty self-explanatory because you have this seven of swords character in your life. And I'm not really <laughs> fond of the seven of swords guy. Anyway, he's sneaky, he's manipulative, he's a liar. Um, <clears throat> It will tend to make you feel as if you want to leave. You just want to pack up and leave. You don't want anything to do with this person. Um, you know, they cause a lot of hurt. Um, <clears throat> I've often said that, you know, when somebody is a liar to you, it also makes them a thief because they are stealing your choice to, um, excuse me, <clears throat> back to sneeze. They are stealing your choice of whether you could stay there or not. They're, they're stealing from you your free will because if you had known these things if they had just been honest if they weren't uh, pretending to be in a relationship with you um, and what I mean by pretending they may actually be in a relationship with you but it's not an honest one or an open or a loving relationship these are people who um, enjoy having secrets these are people who um, lie to you just for the sake of the fact that they can even when there's no reason to do that, but um, I see that you are to the point that this is no longer acceptable to you at all, and you want to leave, just pack up and go, find um, someplace else that, you know, you could <clears throat> you could start over and move out into the world and, and find out what, I, what else is out there for you. <clears throat> you have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So you've been feeling um, as if your security is threatened. Uh, you're stuck making decisions of whether you want to stay in this relationship or not. You're, you're weighing the good with the bad. Um, 
you know, that's only a decision that you can make, and this is only a tarot reading. Um, you know, it's just advice about the energies that are uh, present and involved so that you can uh, use these energies to, to help make your choices. But you, uh, it shows that you will be uh, thinking over and making a decision, you know, you're using your head over your heart just a little bit, okay? <clears throat> I was laughing and glancing over there because my television is on, but it's muted. <laughs> it's muted, and there was this, like, European beach scene, and um, there are these, you know, big, fat, hairy guys wearing Speedos. It was just kind of funny for a second. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Four of Swords and the Four the Four of Wands. Um, this Four of Swords is in reverse. So where you've taken time out to do this healing and thinking about, uh, you know, your, your plans for being in this relationship, for having a happily ever after, for working very hard and being very focused on your love relationship and hoping that it would grow into this and to grow it into something where, uh, you know, all your wishes are fulfilled. You have the four wands here, which is uh, like 1111, and that's just a very divine and blessed number when it comes to relationships. And it's kind of a signal to us that this is, this is our soulmate. This is a divine union. And, you know, when we find out that maybe it's not, that it possibly could have been a karmic connection or it could have been a twin flame and we have to work through these um, times in our lives when we have to decide uh, you know exactly what it is we're dealing with we have to uh, walk away and take breaks sometimes okay in order you know to to figure out what it is we want with our you know so that we're focused. Sometimes we listen to our hearts so much that uh, we don't always choose what's best for us. And I'm guilty of that myself. Okay, so we have 10 of Pentacles in reverse. And again, this is, you know, where your hopes and dreams had been shattered when you were thinking so much about the future and hoping and planning. <clears throat> where did he go? Where's my book guy? There he is. Okay, sorry. I had said him out. He got. Okay, so you were hoping for this. These are the seeds you had planted. This is what you were looking forward to the future at. But uh, again, because of uh, the dishonesty and the manipulation and the lying, uh, this has all been turned upside down for you. Um, you're just not finding security in them anymore. You're. Um, you feel as if everything that you had planned for the future is non-existent anymore. Um, because this is in reverse, I do see that uh, you're maybe not doing the work that you should be doing as far as healing. So we're going to, um, you know, sometimes we run from our feelings. This can be the best thing for you to do. But also still how we continue to deal with it is another thing. So we have the two of coins. There is a lot of uh, pinnacles and energy in this reading. Uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Scorpio. Okay, so this particular card is another two. It's about decision making. It's about um, this little guy here. He's just so focused on himself. He's ignoring you. He's ignoring your feelings. Uh, the water behind him is so turbulent. In the ships are being tossed about. Uh, people are, you know, anxious and afraid and upset. And he's just sitting here, you know, focused on himself. He's not paying any attention. And what this means when it comes to your love relationship is perhaps your, um, your partner was more self-focused and not caring about your feelings, not even noticing your feelings because they were so self-indulgent in whatever it is they're doing. I don't know what they were doing yet. But I do see that sometimes this little guy here, um, they do this because they're hurting and they don't know how to deal with 
uh, when when someone is um, showing emotion or someone is distraught or upset or anxious, they become more distant or they sometimes just, you know, act foolish or do whatever they can to distract themselves from having to deal with somebody who is emotional or somebody they're hurting. Uh, so it's not always that, you know, they are deliberately doing it. Sometimes they just can't help it. Just like this little gesture here. He's just a fool. He doesn't, you know, he's just not aware always. But regardless, it still makes us feel left out and it still hurts us very much when this happens. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and again, I see uh, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> It's in reverse, okay? I'm sorry, these are just the cards that are coming out, okay? I'm not, you know, I shuffled them really good. Okay, so this Wheel of Fortune, even though it is in reverse, you know, please be aware that, you know, it does, this is a wheel, it does turn back around again. So where you may be having this little bit of, um, you know, really bad luck coming at you right now, the wheel continues to turn and your luck will turn around. The focus on yourself, do your, you know, do your healing, do your introspection. Decide what it is that you want from your life. Think about it. Choose, choose what you know is going to be for the greater good, okay? All right, so the next card is the Eight of Cups. And in the Eight of Cups, you see him walking away, and he's always walking towards something better, or something that he thinks is better, okay? He's just leaving it all behind. And you know, Eight Cups is pretty good, but it's not nine and it's not 10. So it always feels like maybe something is missing, okay? So he's, he's in search of something that's better. And you know, when you <clears throat> when you choose to walk away and pack your things and leave. Of course, you know, he's sitting here in this little boat and he's looking he's looking across the water to the other land on the other side and thinking about his new life. And here he is right here in search of that other life. You see the eclipse moon and we just had uh, eclipses back in July, but you know, even after, you know, by the dark of the moon, when there's an eclipse, after it's over, you know, even if it's a moon, not just a solar eclipse, but even with a um, lunar eclipse, the, you know, everything is illuminated again after the eclipse, and we can see, we can see what it is that we, um, that was hidden we can, we've come to find out these, uh, manipulations and lies, okay? And things come to light, and that helps us to, to grow. So with, you know, a solar and a lunar eclipse in July, that could have been about the time that you became aware, um, that, you know, maybe things aren't adding up, or maybe, um, you were being treated unfairly or um, being betrayed and you couldn't you couldn't deal with it so then we have the hermit and the hermit is part of your healing process and he has this little lantern here and he's being very careful and guarded and he's watching his steps carefully you know just take time Take your time. Always take your time when you're healing. Don't rush into new relationships. Don't, um, you know, take this time to heal, especially when, you know, it was um, a relationship where you had hoped it would, it would be like a happily ever after story. Okay. All right. So we have three of cups and you may find just a little bit of joy in life and in yourself with new friends, um, celebrations, you can, you know, you could um, always, always find joy again. Your happiness, happiness is not dependent on just one person in this world, even if they are your soulmate or your twin flame. 
you can always find happiness. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that one person. You know, joy exists within ourselves. And before we can experience that um, with someone else, we have to be able to achieve that, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> again, we have these coins. And they're out in the cold, and they feel, they feel left out, and they feel ignored, and they feel hurt. They feel sad, like they have no home. And <clears throat> when we're with our soulmate, they always have this comforting feeling. And it's the same thing with your twin flame. They always feel like they're home. So when you walk away, you're going to feel sad, and you're going to miss that. It's like being homesick, like homesick for our partner. And you're going to miss them, and there's going to be a little bit of time that uh, you are, you know, hurting. It was like this. You're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to do the healing. Okay? So take extra special care of yourself during the next week or so. And, you know, focus on yourself. You know, give yourself just a little bit of love. Treat yourself, you know. All right. All right. So we have this King of Pentacles showing up. Now, this could very well be um, the earth sign that um, you may have been involved with, okay? Or even if your partner was not an earth sign, they could very possibly have some very strong earth energy placements in their chart. So we're seeing that, you know, he's watching, he's keeping an eye on you or she, there's no gender in the tarot. It's just the energy of this particular king. So, you know, he's focusing on you. He's thinking about you. Of course, they're going to miss you too. Even if they neglected to um, give you the, the attention and the love that you needed while you were with them. It's always that way that... Um, they don't know what they have until you're gone. Okay, so I see that with this wheel of fortune turning after you walk away and leave in, in search of something better, you will find that you are going to have a new beginning and you're going to be blessed and there's it's going to, you know, your luck is going to be so much better. <clears throat> Okay, so these cards are really wonderful together, and they're both major arcana cards. This is very, very strong energies that are going to be present for you. If you, um, you know, she's going to put herself out there again. She's naked. She's making herself vulnerable. She's going to, you know, not be afraid to love again or go in search of love again. Sometimes we don't get to be with our twin flame again. Sometimes we're with our soulmate, and sometimes it's, it's just fine. Okay. It's better than um, being very, very hurt. I see that once you do make this new beginning, okay, once you do make this new beginning, you'll have very many offers of love, and one will seem better than the next, and it will be like um, you'll have a hard time choosing which one it is. When we do the work on ourselves and we put ourselves out there into the world again, we become more attractive to other people and they're, you know, we turn into somebody that, you know, everybody wants to know or everyone's interested in. And so when you, when you do, do the, you know, start over and you do the work on yourself, even though you may still love this person and you feel totally lost and alone without them, you can still find joy and love again. Okay. You've just got to trust, you know, trust the process, <laughs> trust this journey, okay? It'd be really great if we had a little soul GPS sometimes so we could see where we're going or what was ahead, but then really what fun would that be? Okay, so I see this beautiful Queen of Wands, all right? So this Queen of Wands is a little bit playful. Uh, she's loyal. Uh, she can be mischievous. <laughs> She can stir things up sometimes, all right? But I see that this energy will be coming into your life very soon and uh, maybe offering you 
just a little bit of love and compassion, attention that you may, you know, very, um, very much need, okay? You should be careful that, um, I'm so sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Every time I do a reading, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, all right, just be careful that once you leave, there's always these feelings um, but that are left behind by your previous partner, okay? And, you know, where they may have been the one that was um, initiating this hurt and causing so much pain, okay, that, you know, triggered you to walk away from the situation. When they speak to their friends or they go out in the world or whatever, of course, they're going to tell everyone that it was your fault, that you were the one that was wrong and they're the victim. But just ignore that. It's, it's, part of, it's also part of the process is to be expected, especially by someone who's a liar and a manipulator. And you may also find out that... Um, you know, as you're separating from yourself, you may <clears throat> hear rumors about there had been a third party situation. And I wouldn't doubt it very much because this type of person right here is always, um, you know, manipulating, hurting, causing trouble. But that's okay because you have this beautiful new start. You have new love interest coming in. Okay. You have... Uh, beautiful friends that you're going to be spending time with and there you go all right yes you can have very many offers of love coming to you okay and all this is going to be happening between the 10th and the 20th of August okay so even if you make that decision to leave you're going to find happiness again all right it looks really great uh, just take that time and, uh, you know, work on yourself, enjoy yourself with other people's company. You can't um, always make things happen the way that you want them when you want them to. And sometimes we have to be separated from our twin in order to do this growth, to, to achieve this growth, okay? And um, I hope you enjoyed that reading. And if you would like an, a personal reading from me, um, as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, you can find my contact information in the description box below. And I, I enjoy talking to you guys. And thank you so much for um, all the personal readings that uh, you guys have asked me for. And I just love getting to know you guys so much. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm so thankful, thankful. And I just want to tell you all, you know, thank you again. Okay. All right. Good night. Bye-bye.